What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Summertime Render. Season 1, episode 16. Uh, last time where we left off, so, what's her name? God, there's too many H names. Um, oh man. Alright, then I'll go there a second and hopefully I'll remember her name by the time I get there. Anyway, <sighs> Mio's, uh... Shadow, they caught her. They're gonna try to sever the link between her shadow and he's Heine, 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 Heine. There we go. I just saw that. My notes, Heine. Guess I forgot they were there for a second. Um, and anyway, Heine ran away during the fight because she was losing. Um, and what was the guy? What was that thing's name? The shadow, her brother. I forgot his name. Um, he was injured. And so, or I, th I think she calls him brother. I wonder if he's, like, kind of a creation of hers. Because um, I still feel like she probably ate her siblings. Um, and her mom and dad. Uh, so maybe it's just, like, you know how we thought that, um, no, it doesn't matter. Pretty much, I think she made him up as a way to cope. Um... And yeah, so right now we gotta try to see if we can convert, or I shouldn't say convert, more sever ties with, with Heine, pretty much the mind control. So yeah, anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. So that's what it's about. Okay. Oh, that's what it's about. Okay. As long as your mom lives. He said, fuck the kids, I can always make more. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucked up for that. She likes him too. Hmm. <laughs> wow, you're about to expose her feelings or your own. I guess you have every right to express how you feel. <gasps> Bro. Hidden, hidden door, I'm guessing. Uh, her body's gone. I wonder who it is. Is it their mom? His eyes tell me it is. Your mom's killing your dad. I'm not surprised. The wheelchair, bro. It's not your mom, though. Maybe Ushio can sever the bond? I feel like watch it not work or something. Oh. Oh, it did. I'm actually surprised that that worked. Are you alright, dude? What? Okay, CPR, CPR. Oof. 
She's gonna do it 20 times, right? I think you're supposed to do it 20 times and then... Give him some air, breathe, breathe. Why did no one do like, what do you, I don't even know what you call it, like, fuck, it starts with a P, I feel like, per, mm, I can't think of the word, you guys know what I mean. It's the first thing he says, <laughs> it's the only person he cares about, it's sort of romantic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little bit too obsessed with your wife, bro. Stop. You're gonna kill everyone, even your kids. Just to have your wife back? That's true. Yo, something's seriously wrong with that motherfucker. Actually, fucking serious. <laughs> what? Wow. Why did you even think to? Yo. Yo, still, the fact that he just shot his daughter, come on. I mean, I know I've been saying it the whole episode, like, he doesn't care about them, but to go as far as actually shooting her, and it was, like, a lethal shot. He went right for her chest. Like, he didn't go for an arm. He went for a straight-up kill shot. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? How can you have no affinity? Like, you have no connection with your children at all. Here, nothing. Oh man, dude. <laughs> okay. But how did they know? Like the foresight, bro. The foresight. To wow. To ah. How did you see that coming? How did you see him hurting one of his kids? It was smart to bring another shadow. I agree, hundred percent. But maybe. Like, why disguise her as Tokiko? Like, you could have had anyone else sit it out and, like, she could have taken their form. Like, why Tokiko? Anyway. So was that why? Because of the inside information that you had? Oh, you wanted her to know that you like her? It's almost like... You get you got to confess. Yeah. Because you know it's not you. Tokiko <laughs> I almost want you to scan him because I want to know why he is the way he is. Scan him. Mio. Copy him. Watch her scan him and then the look on her face is just total dread. Like, what if there's more to the story than we know? What? Immunity? Wait, 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 wait. Like a natural immunity? Oh. That's what you meant. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Like, um. Meal's dead. Can't remember his name right now. Alan, I think. Did you want to be copied so you could live with your wife forever? I don't think Shadow's age. Why? What is that box? Ushio. Ushio. 
It's true. Mm. I figured as much. She's putting, on a, she's putting on a brave face. It's not going to be that easy. What if killing her isn't the answer, though? What if... What if it's helping her? Maybe? Like, helping her get past her trauma, like, accept it, at least? I don't know. And what? She can't leave this island for some reason? She's trapped here? Oh. She just wants to go live in paradise with her family? Oh man. You wanted to live forever with your family? <laughs> he did all this because he wanted to be with his family forever. It's sweet. It's really, it's kind of sad though. It's bittersweet. ここまであんたらの成長を見られて、お母さん嬉しいわ。ちょっとせ、待ってくれ。君が死んだら、私は生きていく意味がない。いいね。子供たちがいるやないですか。あなたを必要としてる。<笑> 島の人たちがいるやないですか。今からでも。He can't just accept that. Like, you're his wife. He loves you. Like, just, you gotta just let me go. Like, oh, man. What is that? Oh, my God. この島の風土病、影の病。だがその実は、ハイネの食事となったものの名簿だ。your parents she ate them come on bro come on dude he didn't even flinch bro uh, huh? okay first director Pretty much the first doctor here. Okay. Guess there's more to that story. Oh. All right. Good episode. I feel like this is going to be a quick one for me to edit, so hopefully I can have this up on YouTube within the next, like, hour or two, because I still have to edit this one and uh, upload it and ship for Patreon. Uh, okay. So... Where do I start? I guess we got, like, the whole backstory and everything for... Not all of it. Some of it. We got some of her motivation. Hi, Nays. Uh, I feel like, essentially, it's the same as... So's dad. Say? Is that his name? Say? Something like that. He wanted to live eternally with his family. And... Well... In bliss I mean they would have been on this like remote like almost like a like a sanctuary a paradise like untouched by mankind you know only shadows can go there so Heine was only going to bring shadows you know they were never going to be if it was gonna end up really being a paradise like Heine says then I feel like no one would I feel like there wouldn't have been anyone there wouldn't be any reason to murder anyone or hurt anyone there. Like, we can all live forever. Like, why bot? Like, we don't need to eat. We don't need anything. Like, let's just be. Um, so I feel like it probably would be a really peaceful place to live. Um, I understand why he went as far as he did, I guess. If he's just like, fuck it. Like, I don't care if my kid dies. 
kind of dies because if there's a copy of them, that copy will be eternal ish, unless their shadow is. <sighs> so, fuck it. I get it, but it, so it's sad, like, that to save everyone else, you have to give up your wife and. Shinpei and everyone else has to like they have to give up Mio and for him like I understand how hard that is because like that that would be a hard thing to pass up it's it would be so easy to be selfish and to just say fuck everybody and I'm gonna do what I want I'm gonna be happy I'll never have to see you again so I won't even have to worry about any feelings of guilt you know whatever it's a lot harder to to do the right thing in this situation and I think you know maybe the consequence of losing your beloved. I mean, he is, he loves his wife. He was willing to go to great lengths just to be with her forever. I mean, I honestly think he'd be satisfied in that haven without his children, like just him and his wife forever. Um, He's already clearly aged a bit more than her. Like, I don't think the shadows age. Like she looks like she's pretty young, like, 30s probably and he's looking like he's probably in his 60s maybe 50s I mean like, probably 60s is too old for how young his kids are but you never know he's got all gray hair uh I don't know maybe he's in his 50s um genetics is a weird thing though some people get, go gray before others so um I don't know man like in Heine like Heine she just wants to go she kind of just wants a do-over, like, she lost her family, so now she chose a family, and she wants to live with them forever in her little haven, and I, I, I can understand that, but I can't accept it, like, because you have to kill so many people just to, to get there. I don't know why she's in the state that she's in right now and I don't really understand how she's not technically a shadow right now. I don't get that. How I I don't know. Anyway, I'm, or maybe she's just not strong enough. Maybe she is a shadow, but she's not strong enough to like make the journey. Like she's too sick. So she has to consume all these human souls or well, data and then she'll heal. She'll be strong enough to make the the trek. I don't know. But I like that we kind of understand at least her motivations now. I would like to know, I don't, maybe they're never going to get into it, but I would like to know what happened to her family. We get the, I feel like they're implying that they starved to death, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Like, I don't, it feels like there's more to it than that. Like, she's hiding something. Because the way that she freaks out every time, she's like, I'm hungry. I mean, it could just be PTSD from starving and watching your family starve to death. But I feel like it's more. Like, it could be more. I could be wrong, but it's just the vibe I get. Maybe they'll get into it later in the season. Um, and then Shin not even flinching when he finds out his parents were Heine food. I mean, maybe it Maybe it's because they've just been gone for so long that, you know, it's just kind of like, or maybe it's just that in the moment, you know, you you can't really, maybe he compartmentalized, like, right now, I can't deal with that. Like, this is not important right now. I need to focus on the mission. What do I do next? And then the um the mom not knowing she was a shadow and then finding out and, like, stepping up and being like, hey, honey, like, you got to let me go. Like, that's the hardest thing. You can't just say it like it's so easy. Like, oh, let me go. Like, no. Like, this guy loves you more than anything. You can't just... I get it. It's scary. You don't want to live your life without them. Like, oh, you don't... You, he goes, well, I'll have nothing if I don't have you. That was kind of like, ugh. Your kids are standing right there. But some people don't feel a connection with their children. I mean, he said he wanted to bring his kids along. But that there tells me you don't really care all that much about them. You might have just been bringing them along for your wife. Um, because how do you explain to her, like, why your kids aren't there? I mean, are you just going to leave them and be like, oh, uh, something happened to them. All right, bye. Like, just don't, don't, don't worry about it, honey. Uh, like, I, I don't know. Uh, he, he would explain it away somehow, I'm sure. But, um, 
she's like, no, no, we're not doing it. And if she's not on board, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you, like, have Heine knock her out and drag her along? I don't know. But you can't even be copied, so what's the point of this plan? Your shadow was killed anyway, so somebody must have done that to just fuck you over. Because she didn't want your ass coming along, so... Even if you could... Even if you guys... Even if you were successful and you helped Heine, you wouldn't be able to go. It's all for naught. That would really... Ooh, that would suck so bad. Oh my god. To just have, like, you, it was, he felt so close. Like, I, I'd done all this, I'd come this far, I'm like, right there, I'm at the finish line. And to find out that you were never even on the course. Like, and you never left, or maybe how else could I put that? Like, you never left the starting line? Like, that sucks, bro. You never had a chance. Anyway, and then it was sort of sweet. Like, we sort of had almost two confessions. We had one at least, you know, by having Mio's shadow copy Tokiko. She knows everything that she feels. So she knows that Tokiko is in love with her. And she's like, I'm tired of hiding. I don't want to hide anything anymore. Everything's out in the open now. Nudge, nudge. I have a crush on you. Uh, and I get that, like, you kind of, it was kind of a cop-out, like, you got to confess without actually confessing, but I, it doesn't really bother me that much, whatever. Good for you, right? Um, and then Mio almost kind of confessing to Shin, have you ever wondered why I don't call you big brother? Just saying, just putting that out there, I mean, if you, if you want to consider that and, like, you ponder that a bit, like, you could... If you want. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say about the episode, though, so I'm going to stop talking so I can get this up for you guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.